Hey everyone, welcome back. Let's finish, well, continue playing Curse of Monkey Island. I don't think we're going to finish it. That is probably not going to happen. Uh, these are the things we need to do, trying to remember. Uh, there's a hangover remedy from the, from the bartender. We need an egg, which is in a tree. We have dog hair, and we need pepper. I remember that's at. Then in the lighthouse, there's a light bulb that we need to set, I guess, for something. Locked graveyard, a window, a bunch of items in the bar. Outside the bar, there's a barbecue, a cooking pot. Uh, a bunch of things. A bunch of things. And we have a ton of items. So we'll see how it goes. Do this game capture thing. There we go. Uh, latest was last Wednesday, right? Looks like it. Yeah, seven days ago. 21st? Yeah, seven days ago. Uh, so we left off at the, uh, Yeah, I don't know if we have anything to use in the lighthouse just yet. So we're just going to let's look at stuff. Concentrates the light into a beacon for wayward vessels. Makes a man proud. That's it. There's a broken mirror, right? It's broken. Yeah, that needs to be replaced. And I think that is it. Yeah, that's it. All right, let's let's get down. So we haven't been to the strange light or the windmill. So let's go do that. Let's go do the windmill. It's, it's a big old question mark. Now let's save it. Uh, oops, 621st. Uh, 17.11. Alright, what can we do here? Windmill blades, door. Oh, we got pepper. That's it. That's all I need. I forget who we're giving this hangover remedy to. I think to the bartender, so we can take all the other items. Is this gonna hit us when we try to pick it? Oh, well, that was easy enough. It's a chili pepper. Yeah, super easy. Let's look at the windmill blades. They're spinning around the top of the window. Can I grab them? I can't hold on with my bare hands. With my bare hands. But you can hold on with something. Which I don't think we really we really have. No, I don't think we have. We can try a chisel. Right. I can't use the chisel with that. Or like a nail or something. I, can't I don't use know. The nail with uh I don't see anything else that looks obvious. Yeah. Okay, so we'll ignore that. Let's try to open the door. It's locked. It's locked. It's locked. Well, shucks. There's a barrel at the top of the window. I don't know what that's for. All right. Uh, I don't think we can pick the lock, right? No. I can't use the chisel with that. Can I combine I the two? The with, no. 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 I can't use the mallet with that. I can't use the mallet. No. An unmelted hunk of nacho cheese. Uh, can we combine these two? I can't use the pepper with that. No, we can't. All right, uh, let's go to the strange lights. Are these the cannibals? I feel like these are the cannibals. This village is deserted. How curious. It's a table covered with different fruits and vegetables. Pick them up. Well, I haven't gotten any use for this fruit. It's a large cube of tofu. Grab it. <laughs> All right, so we have pepper and we have tofu. Very classy. Mm, no. Nah. Chafing dish. It looks like kidney pie. Are they all like kidney pie? There's a tag on this one. Casserole medley surprise. And it's probably last week's sacrifice. 
It looks like kidney pie. What about the middle? Uh, it's holding cute little shrunken head brochettes. Okay. It looks like a ship skipper, first mate, a professor, and the rest. Mm, no. I wonder if that, that has to be like an Easter egg for something, right? Skipper, scientist. It's like Gilligan's Island or something. Mm, no. Mm, no. Oh, an auger. It's an auger. Uh, can we chisel the that tofu? Oh, okay. I was expecting to chisel off a piece of tofu, but now it's a mask that I can use to pretend I'm a native. All right, getting more and more items. It's a hand-carved mask in the likeness of Leroy, God of Pudding. <laughs> no. Can I use it on myself? No, I can't. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I don't know what this is supposed to do. It's a disguise, I suppose. Yep. What else do we have? I don't even know what's over here. Hmm. Let's talk. Mm, no. <clears throat> Finally, you're here. Come on, we're late for the sacrifice. God of the volcano who resides in Mount Acidopolis. Accept this sacrifice we make unto you. In the form of flesh with high amounts of fiber and wholesome cellulose. Free of all fat and trans fatty acids. That's not true. So that it might nourish you and bring your favor upon our humble village. And not upset nor agitate your ulcerative caldera. Okay, boys, toss him in. Uh. You've been a wonderful audience. Thank you, and good night. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's talk to Lemonhead. Let's look at him first. It's the leader of the cannibals. Let's talk. You feed the volcano mannequins made from vegetables? Yes, we do. Sherman isn't a strict vegetarian, but fatty foods can cause him severe. The wise. How are you? Nice day for a sacrifice. Only one a day. Sherman is sensitive to overfeeding. I'm wearing a tofu helmet that I accidentally made. I tried using the chisel on it because I thought I could tear off a chunk, but I made a face. Day for a sacrifice. Only one a day. Sherman is sensitive to overfeeding. Okay, that's not necessary. Let's talk to the others. No? Huh. So what was the entire point of coming here? Weird. Weird, weird, weird. The vegetarian cannibals, yep. Just met them. Bubbly. Yeah, I think we've been to everywhere on this island. Now we do have a couple of new items, right? We got... We already have the pepper. We just got that easily enough. Then we got an auger. And then we got a measuring cup, which I'm not sure what that's for. But yeah, the pepper, the dog hair, and the egg, which we don't have. That's in the tree. Yeah. All right. Uh, I don't, I don't see anything. There's something I was supposed to give him. Let's look at the measuring it's cup. Decorative yet functional. Decorative yet functional. Hey yo, hey Kodap, how are you? I actually played a couple of board games this past weekend. Uh, we played some Azul, which we played before. Then we played the Search for Planet X, which is like a logic deduction type game. If you ever played uh, Lima, kind of similar to that. And then we played a new game that my friend found at like the clearance sale at our local board game store called Wild Style. It's like real time competitive graffiti tagging. Kind of like a five minute dungeon 
meets some sort of area control, I guess. Yeah, something like that. Search for Planet X is great. It was on the most recent episode of my podcast. Oh, really? Yeah, I've owned it for like a year and I finally decided to play it. Uh, I like that Search for Planet X is point based. So it's not just whoever finds Planet X wins, right? You can find other objects that will cumulate cumulatively cumulatives god that word is a tongue twister yeah that adds up to your score like my friend ended up finding planet x but nothing else but i had found enough asteroids and comets to uh put me over the edge you have a local board game short yes only one cumulatively cumulatively yes uh yeah we have a one major game uh board game store and then like two like sort of board game stores but more comic book nerd stores yeah like so comic books D D miniatures right not just strictly uh board games i played my father's work and discovered a rule that i misinterpreted and it fixed everything wrong with the game so in a way i played for the first time correctly it was amazing we did that with a uh, great western trail cumulatively stop saying like they're making me mispronounce it now yeah uh, yeah, we, we played Great Western Trail very, very poorly and very, very badly. And the, it made the game suck. And then when we finally figured it out, we're like, oh, you actually refresh your hand. Yeah, it was it was bad. We call it playing the Great Eastern Trail because we just didn't have the rules correctly at all. Great Western Trail is very good. It is a very good game. All right, so I don't know what to do with Lemonhead. Well, actually, can I? Oh, wait, what's he want? Oh, never mind. Uh, let me put the mask on again. Can I use the auger on him to, I don't know. Or maybe I need to use the auger on the tree. I don't think he'd like that. No, okay, let's get out of here. Yeah, we did also try Monster Hunter World, the board game. That one was a tough one. Uh, I really enjoyed the video game series, but the the board game doesn't really have that same feel. It's more like Extreme Stamina Management 101 than it is uh, Monster Hunter. Like with Gloomhaven, there was like, you know, managing your cards, right? Because you could get exhausted. But with Monster Hunter, man, it's just... Every action uses so much stamina and you only recover one stamina every round. It's, it's, I don't know, it's, it's brutal. We have not figured it out yet. Or even if there is a way to figure it out. Yeah, new trend is turning video games into board games. It's real hit or miss. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I haven't, I don't think I've played too many board game or video games that were turned into successful board games. Uh, Stardew Valley was probably the only one where I'm just like, okay, this is not bad. But yeah, just because you can do something, it doesn't mean you should. All right, um... What do we have at the cemetery again? We have a bunch of locked gates. And this crack between the doors and a window. And a smoldering campfire. All right, what can we do it? Let's go check out the tree. There's a tree somewhere uh the beach yeah tree with an egg on it and we can use the auger on it i don't know rubber tree can we i don't know that doesn't need to be augered what does an auger do exactly besides augs <laughs> so i know how to use this it almost looks like a maple tree like tree tap type of thing. Is that what it is? It's an auger. Uh, weathered sign. I need to shake this tree. I can't shake it hard enough with just my hands. Just your hand. Okay, so we need to figure out how to Can I shake it with the mallet? The egg would break when it hit the ground. Oh, okay. Got it. Got it. Put the cushion down. And then hit it with the mallet. I can't use the cushion with that. Oh, with the rocks. Uh, 
Um, the mallet. There we go. Do I still have the cushion? I still have the cushion. It's a big egg. Okay, so I have all three ingredients to make the the hangover for the bartender. So let's let's save. I think an auger is just for drilling holes. Okay. So I need to find something to drill holes into. Uh, okay, so do so I put it in the empty jar? Let's talk. Let's talk to this guy again. What was that? I Shh, just get me the ingredients for a hangover remedy, and I'll talk to oh, you. Oh, we don't even have to make it. I mean, a tree auger would drill the hole to tap the tree, etc. Okay. Let me just see if I can give him the, the ingredients. I found this egg for your hangover remedy. Shh. Thanks. To be fair, all drills are for holes. <laughs> We got the pepper. Here's a wild pepper for your hangover remedy. Thanks. And the dog hair. Here's some hair of the dog. Did he bite you? Well, not really, no. Ooh, then it doesn't do me much good, does it? Oh, is my head ever ringing? He has to bite me. He has to bite me. It's a tuft of that old blind dog's hair. Okay. Uh, let's see if we can figure out how to make this dog bite us. Let's get out of here. Uh, come on, this way. Billboard, no. Semi-authentic, uh, authentic native mask. Uh, dog is in the cemetery. I guess if we poke him with a pin, he'll bite us. Right? I think so. Let's try it. Typically an auger is for large holes. Okay. Let's see if I can make this dog bite me. Yeah, I don't think he'd like that. Can I just put the hair on him? My pirate instincts tell me I should keep this to myself. I can't use the dog hair with that. I can't use the dog hair with that. Yeah, I don't think he'd like that. Let's, uh, push? I need the dog to bite me? What the heck? I can't use the dog hair with that. Someone should really learn to properly extinguish campfires. Maybe if I can light the campfire, or make the campfire hotter, it'll burn him and he'll bite me? <laughs> Maybe? I don't like to upset dogs. I don't either, but... I kind of feel like that's what they're trying to tell me to do. Like shaving soap. It's a corked bottle of shaving soap. Bite it? Oh, I have a cork now. Nice cork. Huh. What? I think. Tarot cards. Give him a biscuit. Gonna bite me? There we go. Ow, he bit me. Okay, now we're good. Oh, do you have a magnet? Oh, never mind. Forget I said anything. <gasps> Is that part of a puzzle for something? It's part of a puzzle for something, isn't it? All right, we're getting the hangover remedy, and this will get us a bunch of new items. This is some of the hair of the dog that bit me. Thanks. That's all the ingredients I need. Let me quiet. Oh, for the pen? Yeah, compass. to make a compass. Yeah. I don't I don't think I have the magnet yet. Ah, much better. Here, yeah, you can take the rest. You basically have all the stuff but the magnet, yeah. Uh, I'd like a drink. I'd like a drink, please. Sure. What will you have? Everything. I'd like something subtle with a hint of oak. Sure, sure. I'm gonna get every drink. Or is he going to drink it? Oh, he's gonna drink it. 
neat. Yep. Ah, Papa Pichu, here's your glass back. I don't believe we've met. Who are you? I am Griswold, last of the good soups and proprietor of this hotel. You may have heard of us and our soup restaurant resort empire that stretches across the Caribbean. Well... Oh, this was once our proudest resort. In recent years, however, hard times have befallen the family good soup. And good let soup. me alone in this rotting hotel. The good soup plantation resort hotel and casino what do you know about the Lost Ring of Blood Island? Oh, that's a very sad chapter in my family's history. My great aunt Minestrone Goodsoup. Minestrone, a wow. Of Blood Island society. Her one weakness was her romantic nature. She had a thing for pirates. One in particular. He came into port, she fell instantly in love, and they were engaged within the week. Then, on the eve of their wedding, he stole the fantastic Good Soup diamond from her ring and sold it to smugglers on Skull Island. She wore the empty engagement band on her finger until the day she died, which was not long after. Some say she still wants the Good Soup family too. No, it is she, a sad story. She wants her diamond. Hmm? Oh, I'm sorry, I wasn't listening. Uh, could you repeat that? <laughs> Chowder head. Chowderhead, is that, that mean egg mansion? Uh, hypothetically, how would one get into your aunt's tomb? I suppose you would have to die. No, it's gonna oh, be a tuna God. head, right? Again, how would one so get I'd have into to your die. aunt's tomb? I suppose you would have to die. Okay. How can I get out to Skull Island? Well, there used to be a regular ferry out used. to Skull Island. Used? Used to? One cold night, so the tale goes, the Welshman set out in his dinghy. The deep fog around Skull Isle obscured even the moon, but the Welshman could see the distant light of the Blood Island lighthouse. When oh. he rode half the distance, the light in the lighthouse was mysteriously smashed, and the poor Welshman was lost, almost never to be seen again. Uh, almost? Well, there are those who say that late at night, if you stare into the fog long enough, you may see the flying Welshman rowing in his ghostly dinghy, lost for all eternity. Creepy. All right, let's uh, let's write all this down. All right? Okay, so we made the the hangover remedy. Um, the lighthouse to find Blood Island or Skull Island, Skull Island. One of the islands. Uh, let's see. Have to die to get in? Question mark. Uh, barbecue, lotion, remove. Okay. How's business? Oh, I need another drink. Not good, I take it. Just look around. No guests, no food, no entertainment. Not even the cannibals will come here. My only regular On your first one. Hmm, yes, How right. you doing, Parrot? Hey guys. What's going on? We're playing Curse of Monkey Island. We're on part four. So I would say like more than halfway through. Quescent Pandemonium. How are you? Does my shout out command work? Hey, it's Stan. What were you playing, Matrell? Boom. Oh, Half-Life. Yeah, you're going through the Half-Life series, right? You finished? And you're going through the entire series, right? What so Half-Life 2, uh, episode 1 and 2, and I think what, episode 3 is of the VR thing, right? Yep, you're gonna play the rest of the series. Got it. Yeah. Yeah, that game was, uh, I think groundbreaking when it first came out. Uh, what happened to all the guests? 
opposing force, blue shift, Half-Life 2, Episode 1 and 2, not Alex, which is VR. Yeah, yeah, that's the last one they released was, uh, was Alex. Not playing Black Mesa. Isn't, is Black Mesa, is that like a reimagining of Half-Life 1? I forget where, where Black Mesa fits into all of it. It is a remake? Okay, all right. Man, my memory is not half bad. Feeling pretty good. Yeah, I played Half-Life, Half-Life 2, Episode 1 and 2. Never played Opposing Force, and I heard Blue Shift wasn't uh, wasn't that great. I never played that. I was never like a huge Half-Life fan, but I, I liked it. It's a fan game? Yeah. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Yeah, I was able to play Half-Life 2 on Xbox 360 because I had Orange Box, which comes with, what, Half-Life 2, Team Fortress, and Portal, if I remember. Yeah, I stupidly did uh, the Gnome achievement in Half-Life 2. Don't ever do that. That was back when I was achievement hunting. Carrying that freaking garden gnome across the majority of that game was super painful. I would not recommend it. Why don't you try to liven the place up a little? Whoa, that's quite a story. Years ago, this hotel was the gnome. The yeah, Kane. The Worst decision I ever made. From around the globe to see our world famous dinner show. You may have noticed the oddly shaped barbecue. It's a pain to carry. Barrio. Yes, I did. The worst that. part was the oh, dune buggy. That barbecue was the centerpiece of our nightly entertainment. Isn't a barbecue the central attraction of most sophisticated nightlife activities? Maybe, but no one else had a barbecue like this one. Every night, the guests would gather around on the patio, and at precisely six o'clock... Precisely six o'clock. Interesting. Hef, I need a break for food and rest, but I'll be around and lurk. All right, Mitchell, thank you for the raid, and uh, thank you for the lurk. Yeah, Kane, uh, I, I forget what part of the game it was where you get into a dune buggy and you have to drive across the sand dunes. Uh... I was trying to keep the gnome on the dune buggy, but I think it's basically impossible. You kind of have to like throw it, get in the dune buggy, drive forward a little bit, get it, throw it. It was, ugh, it was a nightmare. You'd break out the charcoal lighter fluid? No. Do you want to hear the story or not? Uh, I'm sorry, Keeps falling. I'm fascinated. Yeah. Please go on. Well, every night at precisely six o'clock, the volcano would erupt and the lava would flow down the side of the mountain and into the special trough that runs beneath the barbecue. The guests absolutely loved it. Hmm, okay, so sacrifice, lava, barbecue. Got it. Yeah, I was so happy to send that thing on its way when I finally got to whatever rocket I needed to put it in. <laughs> uh... That's it? A barbecue? That's entertainment? Well, I used to entertain in the bar. You had a lounge act? Yes. I played the piano. And we had Kino. Kino? Day, the volcano really? just inexplicably stopped erupting. Without our main attraction, the resort just lost its appeal. We've gone downhill hmm. ever since. And the volcano hasn't erupted to this day. Tragic. So we need to sacrifice something to the volcano to get it to explode. So something explosive. What happened to all the guests? After the place started to run down, they all checked out. All except for one. The guest that never left. The guest it's gonna be that scary never left. Because I warn you. Every night we heard strange noises coming from his room. Frightful crashing sounds that shook the entire hotel, each followed by the most horrible screaming and cursing. Then, one night, mm. the sounds just stopped, but were replaced with a terrifying wailing and moaning. I had the room sealed and vowed never to enter that hateful place again. Okay. Let me in. Would you let me into the guest room upstairs? No. It is locked for a reason. Let no man disturb the dark spirits who occupy that room. Oh. Maybe if you tried a more aggressive marketing scheme. I've tried everything. Pamphlets, stickers, extensive print campaigns, 
I even tried passing out vials of my own blood imprinted with a slip. What? My parents went to Blood Island, and all I got was this lousy plasma sample. That's just gross. Well, with the benefit of hindsight, I suppose it is. Tried to sell his blood. Respect the hustle. Uh, maybe if you book some more entertainers. Maybe if you booked some more entertainers. I booked a juggling act here a while back, but that didn't work out. Rather a moody guy. Kept talking about suffering, but his art was <laughs> The guests hated him. They actually cheered when he burst into flame during his firewalking act. Well, damn. Hey there, Hefe and Company. Hope everyone's having a good week. Hey, Lucidius, how are you? Uh, yeah, it's a great week. It's a short week, because I was off on Monday. How about you? Maybe if you focused on Blood Island's rich history. What history? The island has a windmill and a lighthouse. There's not a whole lot to see. Okay. Maybe you should get out of the hotel business. Good soups have always been in hotel management. I've got to do my part to keep the dream alive. Booking rooms and mixing drinks. That's stirring. Excuse me, stirring drinks. <laughs> no, I meant... Never mind. Wordplay. Um, okay, so I have to get a way to make the volcano active. And then also get into the guest room. And then I've got all these other items here that he wouldn't let me get when he was hungover. But now that he's not hungover, should be fine. Doing great. Thanks. A little stormy here today. I'm very human, so I think video games are on my agenda this evening. What are you playing? Yeah, it was uh, relatively cool today. Uh, when I woke up this morning for work, it was probably in the 60s. And very windy, and then it's just been kind of rainy and drizzly all day. Eh, that's a shame. Sorry I brought it up. Let's see if we can grab some items after... Let's see, we heard the ring story. We heard about the tomb. Skull Island. Uh, this place sure is dead. No. Let's get some more drinks. I'd like a drink, please. Let's see if that does anything. What will you have? I ordered the first one. Oh, um, I don't know. Give me a big fruity drink with an umbrella in it. Good choice. Maybe we need the it's umbrella? A delicious taste of the islands. Made with lemon, grapefruit, and ground beef. Blah, ground beef. Hey, don't I get one of those decorative umbrellas to go in my tropical drink? Um, I don't think we have any. No, I'm wrong. Here we go. I do have this one. Oh, so now we have an, um an umbrella. All my friends have been playing Diablo 4, so I jumped on the bandwagon. It's pretty fun, actually. I've been impressed so far. Yeah, yeah, my, my friends are all, all into it. So I don't think the drinks... Here's your glass back. Yeah, I don't think the drinks do anything. I think that was just to get an umbrella. But let's uh, continue talking. I'd like a drink, please. Right. Oh, uh, oh, Grog. Okay. Neat. That would kill me. Right? Ah, Papa Pichu. Here's your glass back. Okay, never mind. I guess that's all we needed from him. Uh, let's pick up some pickles. Nah, they go straight to my hips. Uh, an empty jar for the fireflies. Yeah, okay. That jar's for my tips. Put it back. Oh. But I was going to put a whole lot of money in it. Too much for me to carry around with me, so I'm gonna have to take it with me and fill it up. Oh, okay then. Oh, okay, we're good. Brochures? Let's take some brochures. What do these brochures say? It says, visit Big Whoop for an eternity of pain and torment. I mean, fun and laughter. If you're a pirate with a sturdy skeletal structure and a high threshold for pain, but high threshold for pain is crossed out and replaced with craving for adventure, then Big Whoop is the place for you. Visit Big Whoop. Do it right now. There's no pictures or maps or anything. It just says that it's an awful lot of fun. Honest. Huh. Weird. Oh, we have a jar lid. That's right. Empty jar, an umbrella. Head be clear. Head be clear. For clearing foggy heads. Oh, that's the, uh, the hangover remedy we gave him. Okay. And we have a bunch of items. Okay. Uh, what about the nacho cheese? Oh, there's a fork. Where's the fork? Can we get that fork out? Can I have some fresh nachos? You could. 
except that the nacho maker has been broken for years. I would have gotten rid of the darn thing long ago, but I can't budge it. That congealed nacho cheese is tougher than pitch. It seeped hmm. through the broken glass and glued the machine to the bar. Thanks anyway. All right, so I can't grab the fork then. That fork is stuck in all that congealed. How do I uncongeal something? Can I drill a hole? <laughs> that doesn't need to be augured. No. That doesn't need to be. Uh, a nail, a mallet. I can't use the mallet with that. I can't use the mallet with that. Heat it up. Yeah, I don't think I have anything that can heat it up. Yeah. Nope. Uh, unmelted, unmelted nacho cheese. Hmm. Yeah, probably need to find something. Uh, was there something in here? The fridge was locked, right? Yeah, I really don't want to know what's in there. Oh, he doesn't even want to know. So I think I think we're good here. Uh, 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 uh. All right, let's see. Congealed cheese. Let me check my notes. Uh, so we have an umbrella, right? Umbrella. Uh. Lid. Is that it? Is that all we had? Hold on a second. Oh, we had one more thing. Oh, an empty jar. An empty jar for the uh, for the firefly. So let's go do that. And then what else? What else? Bar. Fork. We got the empty jar. Pickle jar. Is something. Heat it up. There's a cooking pot. Yeah, okay, I think we're good. Let's go get the uh, the fireflies. Oops, wrong way. So they play every... at 6 p.m. every time? Let's see. Griswold Good Soup presents High Explosive, the most intense showgirl cabaret in the Caribbean. Hmm, cooking pot. I'll just use some of the cheese here. All right, I just need to light it on fire. It's a big cast iron pot with a hunk of cheese inside. A hunk of cheese inside. What else do I, oh, do I put the lid on it? I don't think the lid will fit that. No, okay. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, we do have the magnet. A magnetic nail. Neat, completely worthless, but. I can use that with the uh, pen. I've already magnetized the pen. Oh, we've already done it, okay. I can't use the magnet with that. I don't want to pin that. I want to make my own compass, right? Uh, I don't know how we do that. All right, let's uh, let's get out of here. Let's go get these fireflies. Maybe the fireflies are like a literal uh, term. They'll actually light the the barbecue on fire. Maybe, possibly. Uh, where were they? Elaine? Yeah. All right. Give me these fireflies. They won't fly into the jar for no reason. Oh, put it in the stump? Putting an empty jar on that stump. Okay, I need to fill it with something. Uh, do they do fireflies like cheese? I don't want to use the cheese with that. No? Okay. Uh, what are they like? I don't know. Uh, yeah, what do fireflies like? They sure are bright. Nah. They're too small and fast for me to catch with my hands. Uh, maybe I'm supposed to make it sticky? I can't paste that. No. No, that would be pointless. It's a Cervantes brand umbrella. Very stylish. Hmm. Core cushion measuring cup tofu mask. Can I put... Can I put some tofu in there? Tofu won't do anything here. No. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. I can't use the magnet with that. Um nice cork. I need to use the cork with something else. Hmm. I don't need it. I shaved last week. 
what do I use the shaving soap for? Maybe as lotion? For the ring? This stuff just isn't slippery enough to do the trick. Nope, okay, that was worth a try. Uh what else do we have? Can I chisel it? Don't you think that's just a drastic? <laughs> I mean it's worth a try. Um That doesn't need to be lathered up. I can't use the skeleton arm with that. I can't use the skeleton. So shaving soap is this not stuff just isn't slippery. I don't think she'd like that. Okay, that's not gonna work. Uh what about ingredients? Is it just the hangover remedy? Uh oh, damn it. Then I have these tarot cards. There we go. Beards, baby. Bloody stump. I don't think I have any of that. Blue whale. Phlegm and tonic. Don't have that. Tequila. Nope. <laughs> Drink tequila. Combine and re discard remaining ingredients. Swamp zombie. Nope. The hangover we've made? Yeah, okay. <laughs> hmm. I've got five death cards. That can't be good. Uh, okay. What do I put in this pickle jar? Or in this empty jar? To attract fireflies. Kind of be like, I thought it'd be like stinky cheese, right? I don't know. But I'm thinking flies, not. I don't want to use the cheese with that. I don't want to use the cheese with that. It's a skeleton arm with paste all over it. They don't like shiny objects, do they? A gold tooth. No. Um. No, that would be pointless. Okay, let's get out of here. Is there anything in the shipwreck? Oh, right. He has the slippery, greasy hand lotion. Maybe if I give him some shaving soap? He'll shave his beard, and while he's shaving his beard, I can steal the lotion? My pirate instincts tell me I should keep this to myself. Let's talk. Uh, Haggis? Hi. Mm -mm. What did you want in exchange for the lotion? We need to seal the hull of the ship, but we're out of tar. We're out if of you tar. Can find a substitute for tar, I'll let you have the lotion. Okay. Um. I'll let you get back to work. Do I have anything that's tar like? I got I don't think he'd like that. No. What else do I have? Shaving soap. Uh head be clear. Oh, open it. He's gonna drink it, isn't he? Darn childproof caps? I can't open it. Can't open it. What? That opened it. There we go. Yeah, I don't think he'd like that. I'm not not over. I feel great. Head be clear for clearing foggy heads. Foggy heads. Literal? Literal? What does this do? Yeah, what did that do? I don't even know. I don't even know. Uh, oh, excuse I don't me. think he'd like that. Did he actually say he would trade for anything? I don't think he did, right? Oh, it's a uh, tar to seal the ship. I'll let you get back to work. All right, so we need to find tar. I can only think of one thing you've encountered thus far that is tar-like. Uh, it's not here. Uh, we've got everything here. The lighthouse is a dead end because we don't have a light bulb. And then you've got the hotel. 
The windmill's locked. Uh, the cemetery? Tar-like. Probably in the hotel. Can I combine stuff? That doesn't need to be lathered up. <laughs> uh, tar-like. Yeah, what's the shaving soap for? What is this portrait for? This is one ugly picture. Looks just like the bartender. Hmm. Nice cork. Uh, let's go over here. Can I throw some cheese in there to melt it? I think I tried that already. This block of cheese doesn't look hot enough. Throw the cushion in there. I can't use the cushion with that. No. Uh. I can't use the cork with that. How do we get in? How do we get in? There's someone in there. Snuck. No. What's a guy got to do to get into one oh, of Oh, here we crates? go. Drop dead. Drop dead. So I have to pretend to die. Maybe I can put my own name? Just my own name into it? And then he'll think I'm dead? That's not my job. No. I can't use the mallet with that. That's not my job. If I use the umbrella, he just uses it, right? Yeah. Hmm. Sword coffins. A window. Gotta be in the hotel, I think. Or the strange village. I don't think there's anything here. Let's go, uh... Is there anything in this village? Let's check. I do have a fire. Can I throw some cheese in here? This lukewarm chafing dish isn't hot enough to melt the cheese. This lukewarm chafing dish isn't hot enough to melt the cheese. This lukewarm chafing dish isn't hot enough to melt the cheese. Mm. Uh, let's put on our mask. Ick. Uh, let's give him some cheese. Yeah, I don't think he'd like that. Oh, come on. Can I throw it in there? Oh, it's going to explode now and light the uh, barbecue. Do you know what that means? You brought about the coming of the divine dysentery. I like it. There we go. Hey, now we're melting cheese. <laughs> okay. It's a cool effect. Wow, that was more spectacular than I'd hoped. <laughs> right, back to the hotel? Can we see it anywhere else? We can kind of see it. Now the barbecue's active, and we've got melted cheese for... Tar? Right? Now how do I scoop up this, uh, this cheese? With the pan, maybe? Let's try it. This pie pan won't do any good there. No. Okay. Measuring cup, probably? I can't use the measuring cup with that. What? Tip jar? I can't use the jar with that. Can I pick up the cooking I pot? I'll just drag this down to Haggis now. Beer, Haggis. Oh, this stuff there we go. To patch up the ship. 
Aye, laddie, indeed it should. The consistency of tar, but with a tangy pepper taste. So, can I have your lotion now? Aye, lad. Go ahead and take Yay. Now I can use the lotion to get the diamond ring. And then go into the cemetery and get the auntie ghosts to show up. Uh, Lane. Let's do it. Let's see if this slippery, greasy lotion does the trick. That should do it. The cursed ring exploded. Exploded? What? Uh, what was I supposed to use it on? It's Elaine's finger, ready for a new ring. Okay, so I need to make a new ring. It says, made with 100% pure lamb blubber. Mmm, soothing and nutritious. Blah, okay. Mmm, uh, 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 uh. Use the umbrella on them? I can't use the umbrella with that. No. Um. Uh. I don't want to lubricate that. Uh. I don't want to lubricate. Okay. That doesn't need to be augured. No. I can't use the nail with that. Oh. Uh, no, that would be pointless. <laughs> okay. Yeah, what, what was that for? What was that for? No offense, Elaine, but you are way too heavy for me to haul you around. Okay, so I just need to find another ring for her. Um... Go to the cemetery? Maybe these doors are open now? Now that we returned the ring? It's locked. No, I don't think so. Hmm. It's locked. <laughs> Alright, I need to find a way to drop dead. So he'll open up. I pull myself up. I can't use the umbrella with that. Do I need to get shocked by holding the umbrella up? No. Uh, oh, skeletal hook. What is that? Have I seen that? Did I miss an item? Skeletal appendages. Oh, never mind. Hmm, okay. What is this measuring cup for? It's decorative yet functional. I need to use the measuring cup with something else. What the hell? This is only for reading. Ah, uh, what are we doing? What are we doing? What are we doing? Too high, right? Mm, no. Ooh, can I climb up the chimney? Mm, no. Hmm. No. Hmm. I don't want to haul that around. Let's get back to the hotel. Yeah, that's still... I can't pick it up. I still can't have any nachos? The machine is broken and that nacho cheese has glued it to the bar. Thanks anyway. Hmm. Nobody here. Nothing's changed. The lava has really heated up the barbecue. All right, what items do I have? It's the map to Blood Island. Peeled off Palado's back. Gold tooth, shaving soap, tarot cards. Let 
Maybe I can use the auger on the windmill somehow. Auger a cork. Head be clear. Head be clear. For clearing foggy heads. For clearing foggy heads. That sounds like wordplay. Like there's literally someone with a foggy head. Let's look. It's locked. Hmm. It looks out onto the cemetery. Nah. I'd rather leave it open. There's a peculiar odor in this hallway. Ah, uh, what, 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 what? Is there anything else here? No. Hmm. Uh, uh, um. Can I do anything with the day bed? Maybe? No time for that now. I've got a fiance to rescue. Hmm. Uh, I will be right back, guys. Give me, give me two seconds. All right, all right, all right. Ooh, I'm dragging today. I did not sleep well at all. It was like 2 a.m. when I looked at my uh oh, my cell phone. Just could not shut my brain off. Can offer a hint if you want. Uh, give me, give me another five-ish minutes to futz around. Let me check my uh, my notes here. I'm trying to organize my brain. Uh, okay, so uh, fireflies need a uh, 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 bait or jar. And there's a uh, the stump. The stump and the firefly are the same thing. Lotion. We got the lotion. I don't know why I wrote that I need wood here. I don't know what that's one about. Get rid of that. Barbecue cooking pot. We did that. So we have the fireflies. We need bait for the jar. Uh, the nacho machine has a fork in it, which I can't use. And there's also a pickle jar. I wonder if it'll let us get the pickle jar. Graveyard, you have to die to get in. There's a locked graveyard, smoldering fire, and a window, and a locked door, right? Uh, locked door. And then I have a bunch of items, right? Uh, okay, so these are like the main things, right? Oh, and then the windmill. The windmill, uh, locked door. And there's a barrel up top. So I guess I have to, like, somehow grab onto the windmill to get up so I can knock this barrel off for some reason. Broken mirror, light bulb, block. Let me see. Does any of this stuff apply to the items I have? A broken mirror. Uh, treasure map, pie pan. Maybe a pie pan. A portrait, a light bulb. Uh, I don't think I have a light bulb or anything close to a light bulb. 
Maybe the gold tooth? I don't know. And then something to block the wind. Which maybe the lid would work. Yeah, maybe the lid. Okay, yeah, let's, uh, let me, let me putz around for a little bit. Just for a little. Just a little while. Yeah, I don't know what this portrait's for. All the hotel signs say I'm not supposed to touch the paintings. I don't think the portrait would look good there. Yeah, so I need to put this portrait somewhere. Hmm. Oh, there's a mirror. Oh, shit. Okay. I don't think I noticed that. Well, it's easy enough. Damn, I completely missed that. Can I put the portrait there? That won't fit. Okay. Spittoon, no. I don't carry around other people's spit anymore. I've grown past that stage. And he doesn't want me to have the pickles. Oh, no, that's still in front. Oops. Straight to Thank my you. Hips. Boop. There we go. All right, well, there was a mirror here that I just somehow randomly missed and saw. I can't pick that up. So I know where the I know where to use a mirror. A vase, grog, a portrait. I don't know. I don't think the portrait would look good there. Now I have a mirror. It's me. It's me. Is there anything else I missed? I can't eat a pickle. Nah, they go straight to my hips. Nah, they go straight to my hips. What can I? The volcano has erupted. The volcano has erupted. Maybe he'll leave. Yes, I know. The good soup empire is saved. Ah, uh, this is the happiest day of my life. Next to the day Grandpa invented the steak crispy and soup oyster cracker. Well, I'm happy for you. Soon the resort will be flooded with tourists coming to see the volcano. And I can finally put on the show I was working on the last time we had guests. What show is that? Voulez-vous Vicious Soirs. A dramatic musical about a talented young Parisian soup chef who is cruelly taken down by the Paris culinary establishment for her revolutionary ideas about soup preparation. I'm sure it'll be a big hit. Okay, that didn't work. Um, let me just... How Again, would I... How would one get into your kindly aunt's tomb? I suppose you would have to die. I would have to die. Maybe a drink would kill me. Uh, the whole ring story... Tell me that whole ring story again. My dead great aunt's fiancé stole the diamond and sold it to smugglers on Skull Island. She wore the engagement band until the day she died. And she remains buried in the Kutsu family crypt. Okay, so the family crypt has a wedding band that I could put on a lane, but I have to die. And then to get out to Skull Island, I need to fix the lighthouse. I'd like a drink, please. Here you go, lady. Neat. Yeah, he does not let us do anything with it. Drink. Use. Yeah. Ah, Papa Pichu. Here's your glass back. Uh, let's go put this mirror on the lighthouse. Uh, and let's go see if Madame Zima has anything new to say. Be gone. Nope. She does not care. We stole all her cards. Nah. Madame Eczema. It's mad eczema. I love it. And we got these brochures. Nacho chip maker. It's glued. I was thinking maybe I could chisel it. I can't use the chisel with that. No. I also have a nail. Measuring cup. A cork. An umbrella. I haven't done anything with the vegan cannibals either. It's the lid to the tip jar from the hotel. And I open up this head, be clear. Foggy heads. That doesn't look hungover at all. Uh, what about put the portrait on the poster? Can I do that? I don't think the portrait would look good there. No, okay. I can't pick up the neon sign. Mm, no. I don't think there's anything in here. Oop. 
Here. Did you just take my mirror? Oh shit. No. You're lying, aren't you? Yes. Uh, Put it back. All right, all right. Oh, uh, okay. I have to find a way to... Oh, okay, I just have to have a portrait of himself. Sheesh, what a grouch. Which what I think... That? Nothing. Yeah, which is this. This is one ugly picture. Looks just like the bartender. Oh, okay. Like bartender. Yeah, so give me that. Oh, and then put paste. I don't think the portrait would look good there. What? I can't paste that. That won't fit. That won't fit. It won't fit? Wait, do I need to cut it? There, I've cut out the face. Wait, what? <laughs> That's you ridiculous. You stole that mirror, didn't you? No, I didn't. It's right there. Look. Hmm, I guess you're right. Oh, all right. Dear. I'm starting to look old. From all that drinking. That's ridiculous. Find your own business. All right. All right, well, that works. Cool. Uh, there is nothing here. He has no interest in the fridge, as far as I can tell, right? He doesn't want to know what's inside? Yeah, I really don't want to know what's in there. Yeah, he doesn't. Yeah, I really don't want to know what's in there. And then you got a file cabinet, which I... I think we already grabbed whatever. It's labeled Good Soup Family Records. Oh, can we search it? I'm sure it's just a bunch of legal stuff I couldn't hope to understand. And then we got the hunk of cheese already. Yeah, there's no. Yeah, there's nothing else in here. Okay. Uh, let's go put this mirror up. Yeah, let's go put this mirror up. Uh, lighthouse. the lens there's a mirror now but there's no light for it to reflect all right so I don't have the light it concentrates the light into a beacon for wayward vessels makes a man proud uh, I thought that I had to block the wind somehow too Ooh, what was that lantern post this is where the lighthouse light would go if it had one. with all these broken windows it's no wonder the light blew out all these broken windows how do I fix these broken windows jar lid I don't think the lid will fit that. I don't think the lid will fit that. Hmm. Lantern post. I don't think I have the item for it yet. Can I push the mirror? No. Can I pick up the lens? No. Luckily, I don't need to adjust it. Okay. We don't need to adjust the lens. Jarlids are well known for their window fixing properties. I think if I just like angled it right, wrap the whole thing in plastic wrap. If I had it, I would do it. Kind of just cover it up with brochures. I can't even interact with the windows, so it's probably not a thing. If you rub the lid against the glass fast enough, it will melt together, and there you go. You know what, Brax? I believe everything you sell me. It says made with 100% pure lamb blubber. All right, so I don't think we have the item for this. Uh, cemetery, we have to die. We should be able to... I don't know what, what this barrel is for. I really need to make a point and click. You make a point and click, sir, and I will play it. For sure. Yeah, so I, it says you can't grab it with your hands. I can't hold on with my bare hands. So I need like a hook. Oh, an umbrella. There we go. Okay, now what is this barrel for? It's full of fermenting sugar water used for making rum. Oh, okay. So fill the jar with sugar water. And then we get the fireflies. It's full of sugar water now. And we put the fireflies in the lighthouse? Question mark? Can we just jump down? Oh, the door's unlocked now. Cool. Okay. Let's go to the clearing. Uh, and I guess the cork is for the, the jar once I go in. It's full of yummy, delicious sugar water. Mm, bet that water sure tastes good. 
There we go. We have our light bulb. Cork. I can't use the cork with that. Oh, uh, Jarlid. They're trapped inside. The Jarlid looks huge compared to the rest of the items in here. I thought it was like a really big jar lid. Like, the biggest jar lid of all. There's no light. Oh, uh, did they all die? Ah, oh, they oh, died. No. All the <laughs> I should I should have. Can't use the nail with that. Uh, I poked holes in the lid of the jar. Oh, you're gonna make me do this again. I'm sorry. <laughs> how do I how do I empty this out? I need to use the jar with something else. Um. <laughs> Can I just dump it out? Well, let me dump it out. I'm like that kid that wanted to keep fireflies. Didn't realize he need air. Let's try this again. It's already got plenty of sugar water in it. Oh, okay. So if I just go back to the clearing, we're good. They won't see their dead brethren and run away screaming. No, they're good. We killed it. Uh, draw a lid. They're trapped inside. There we go. Back to the lighthouse. They're still alive. On to the lamp post or lantern post. Now. All right. Uh, then we should get a new location, maybe? No? Oh, do I need to adjust the lens now? Luckily, I don't need to adjust it. No? What the hell? Alright, so I should see the flying Welshman. I should be able to get to Skull Island. It's working perfectly. It's working beautifully. Alright. I don't see anything. Huh. Oh, I forgot about this guy. What does this guy do? And we got the egg here, so we don't need that. Rock, seawater, mysterious figure. Oh, that is the flying Welshman. Jesus. Okay. This was the guy. Right? Because if you look at the sign. So you need to do the lighthouse to get Lost the flying Welshman. Yes. Haunted sea cruises and whale watching excursions daily. I will eventually figure this out. Intimidating. So he'll take me to Skull Island. Who are you? I, I am the lost Welshman. Ooh. I am the ferryman between here and Skull Island. Let's go. Uh, let me save first. I'd like a ride out to Skull Island, please. I will risk these rough waters no more. Oh. For too long have I rocked in that watery cradle of death. Freaky imagery. Whatever. Anyway, I'm not going out there again. Until I get <laughs> there safely. I need a compass. Ah, uh, here's the compass. How will being able to draw perfect circles get you out to Skull Island? Not that kind of <laughs> compass. The directional kind. If you find me one, I'll take you to Skull Island. I need the item. Wait, so if I... I can use a pie pan, right? I don't think he'd like that. Fill it with water and then put the, the pin? This pie pan won't do any good there. No? It's magnetized, right? Cool, a magnetic pin. Right, okay. So, like, I put it in a thing with water and it, it works, right? There we go. It's full of seawater. And then? The pin just sinks. I need to make it float. What? I've already magnetized the pin. I need to make it float. Uh, do I need to boil the water so there's no salt in it? Right? Or put, I don't know, put some stuff in there? I don't want to lubricate that. <laughs> you don't have to say it all sexually. Um, 
I need to make it float. I thought it would just float. Or is it because it's seawater it doesn't float? This is this is really, really showcasing my public school education <laughs> and lack thereof. It should just float, right? Oh, you'd float on a pen or a leaf or a piece of paper. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, all right. I am missing key ingredients. You're fourth grade to make those. Yeah, my wife uh, celebrated her, her last week of school before the summer uh, last week. Yeah, so this is our first official week off. Uh, so I need a leaf or something. Um, a tarot card? No. Tarot cards. Tarot cards are too big. Won't work with that. Uh, uh, no. A brochure? A cork. Wow, the cork floats. I'm astounded. There we go. Boom. Uh, okay. Boom. Hey, neat. It points north. Got it. Science is fun when you know the secret. That's late. We finished in May. Oh, really? Yeah. Usually school ends for us in uh in June. All right. Boom. Here. I don't know why it's a. Why is it a measuring cup? You could use the pan, couldn't you? Here, take this compass. Hmm. The pan is metal. That's right. That wouldn't work. This is a compass. Will it work? Of course. See how it points north? Wow, that's incredible. How'd you do that? Eh, it was nothing. Dude has a sandwich. Take me up to Skull Island. I'd like a ride out to Skull Island, please. All right, let's go. All right. We're making progress. I'm happy. We're not stuck. All right, so the diamond is in Skull Island. We'll get the diamond and somehow get into the tomb. Even the bravest of men must dread the horror of this place. Steal your courage, boy, now, before you gaze upon the terrible, horrible Woo -woo. face of Skull Island. Ah, I love the skull. It's a duck. It's a duck. <laughs> Don't you see the skull? This island doesn't look like a skull at all. It looks like a great, big, enormous duck. It should be called Duck Island. Well, you see, you, you gotta squint and sort of turn your head and... Ooh, it's just so scary. <laughs> if you squint and turn your head, it looks like a bunny. Well, anyway, see that light up there on the cliff face? That's Smuggler's Cave. Uh -huh. It's by King Andre, the greatest smuggler in the world. And his nefarious assistant, Cruff. But how do I get up there? You have to go to the top of the cliff. Won't you be coming with me? No, you must go alone. There will be someone there who will help you. But I warn you, beware of King Andre. He is as ruthless as he is bald. Good luck. Hmm. Thanks. Is a bald thing like a hint to the puzzle? That is not King, <laughs> King Andre, right? Okay. Uh, okay, so... Oop. Oh, why are we looking at clouds? How oh, cool! It looks like a giant flying snail. Okay, cliff face. There's a cave down there in the cliff face. It's a hand-cranked elevator. Let's save it. Uh, let's talk to the winch operator. Hello. Can you tell me how to find the evil smugglers of Skull Island? Beats me. Oh, wait a second. <laughs> uh, I, I think I remember something about that at the orientation seminar. Let me think. The cave is halfway down this sheer cliff face. Climb on board this dumb waiter. I'll, I'll lower you down. It looks pretty rickety. Are you sure it's safe? No. Never used it before, but uh, I'm sure it can't be that dangerous. I'm a temp here. The, the usual elevator operator, uh, Ronbeard, uh, he's sick, so I'm filling in. Uh, I guess that'll be okay. What's your name? It's LaFoot. Would you lower me down to the smuggler? Let's just cave? try it. Sure, sure, I can do that. You you must weigh no more than, say, 20 pounds, right? Uh, actually, more like 120. Oh. Well, it can't hurt to try, right? <laughs> no, you're sure about this. Oh, yeah. You don't look that heavy at all. Hmm. Is that not tied securely? Here we go. <laughs> okay, give me a little bit more slack. Oops. Okay, oh. that's too much 
Schlack. Ah! Oh, use an umbrella. Hey. It's a lot of treasure. Ooh. Good afternoon. I'm the new Skull Island Diamond Inspector. I'm going to have to see every diamond you've got. Every last one. Come on, people. Chop, chop. I don't have all day. I do not like this man. Kill him. Darn. Let me try that again. I have got so much money, it's almost embarrassing. Well, hello. Let's talk, <laughs> Mr. Uh... Uh, Lugie, Captain Lugie, Van Gogh, Yeah, let's do that one. Van Gogh, Farsington. Jethro Van Gogh, Farsington. Very well, Mr. Threeport. Hey, how did you know my... It is my business to know who enters and leaves Skull Island. I am King Andre, and this is my associate Ooh. Gruff. I like his voice. For something in particular. The Good Soup Family Diamond. The Chuck stole it, you bought it, I want it. Now. <sighs> Please? Sir? But we have so much quality merchandise here at the Pirates Club. Our prices get lower every day. Everything a pirate or pirate in trading could possibly want is here for the right price. <laughs> Could you not laugh like that anymore? Could you not laugh like that anymore? The Good Soup Diamond is the centerpiece of my collection. The fantastic energy flowing through it is the key to all my power. So, can I have it? Of course you can't have it. Unless you were to give me something. Alright, what do you want? What do you want? Is that a bunny? That's a bunny. Uh... Do you expect me to talk? No, Mr. Threeport. I expect you to buy. Hey, Mr. Huff. This guy a terrorist? One man has access to the master switch. Oh, boss. This guy's a terrorist. I am that man, three board, and boss? Yes, Mr. Croft. Ixnay on the evil lamp play. How you doing, Huff? Ah, what were yes. you playing? Of course. How are you doing, Mr. Thropewind? Thanks. Uh, were you playing the, uh, oh, was, is that the Dead Space remake? As you started talking. Looks like the Dead Space <laughs> remake. Why, thank you. I'm glad you voted. Insane. <laughs> yeah, I never armor. played the first Dead Space back on uh, 360. I never played any... Well, I, I, I own Dead Space 2 and 3, but uh, I've only semi-played Dead Space 3 because it was co-op. Doing good. Uh, we're we're making progress. I mean, we only got stuck once. You're a madman. Am I mad? Am I? <laughs> Is it madness to sit in a cave at the top of a deserted island, accumulating vast amounts of gold and jewels and stuffed animals, stockpiling plunder from across the Caribbean and passing the savings on to you? Is that madness or genius? Good point. I take it back. I'm not mm -hmm. crazy. My prices are. Kind of sounds like Stan. <laughs> Doing demos from Next Fest that was like two or three years old. Oh wow, I didn't realize my uh, my shadow actually pulls clips that are that old. Any uh, any interesting demos? Any interesting games that you're looking forward to? I'm always I'm always looking for the next indie game to play. You know that. That diamond belongs in a museum. So do post-impressionist paintings, Mr. Threepwood. So do post-impressionist paintings. What the heck is that supposed to mean? One day, you will understand. Did you ever finish that uh, black and white uh, dungeon crawler? I think it was called Paper Dungeon. Maybe we could make a deal. All right, what do you want? What do you want? You are a formidable opponent, Mr. Threepwood, but it looks as if our game of cat and mouse must cease. Oh, do I need to save here? Are we going to play cards? It is a perfect diamond, one of the largest I've ever seen. I'll take it. 
And so it comes with a very large price. Yeah, enough with the hard sell. How much? It will cost you an awful lot of money. Do you have that much? I have an awful um, lot. Um, no. How much you got? Well, let me think. Wood nickels? Uh, the cash on me, my mutual fund, carry the two, very little. As I thought. But perhaps we can make a deal. My partner Paper and sorcerer, I are very yes. Fond of cards. Uh, poker in particular. Oh god, we gotta play poker. I'm How terrible at cards. If you can defeat us at poker, oh, I have the tarot cards. The Got okay. it. Yes, fair. <laughs> Could you stop laughing like that? It's very unnerving. So, Mr. Threepwood, the question is to you. Care to join us in a game of cards? Let's save. Tomorrow Trail is a nice dice version of Slay the Spire. I still need to play Slay the Spire. Pretty sure it's Steam Deck compatible too, so I can just like sit there and play it in bed. Sounds fun. Deal me in, Baldy. Alright, so I have these tarot cards. To enter the game. Well, how much do I need? Not very much. I don't have any money. Then you can't play. Oh. By some unfortunate turn of luck, you happen to lose. We would have nothing to gain. Oh, I need money. I don't have money. Tofu Mac chisel, portrait nail, auger. I have a gold tooth. My pirate instincts tell me I should keep this to myself. My pirate instincts tell me I should keep this. My pirate instincts tell me I should keep this to myself. Uh, let's talk again. How about toys? Do you have any toys? As a matter of fact, a new shipment just arrived yesterday. They're sure to be bestsellers. Here, take one. What is this? Oh, it's a little Chuck doll. Math be hard. Let's go shopping. <laughs> You're my favorite sailor. Will you play with me? I'll grind your bones to make me toothpaste. Hey, okay. Currently perfecting my hit list run of Dead Cells. I have, I have not played uh, Dead Cells. Yeah, it's Monkey Island 2, LeChuck. Yeah, I've seen uh, several people play it, though, on Twitch. Yeah, it's just like, it's just another one of those games that's on my, not my backlog, because my backlog implies that I own it, but on my wish list. One of those games that I will eventually play, along with Hollow Knight and... Um, Oh my god, what's the other game? Sh Hollow Knight and I think Shovel Knight. Yeah, Shovel Knight's the other one. Uh, let's buy something piratey. I'd like to buy something really piratey. Of course. Really piratey things are, of course, our specialty. I know. Everyone tells me I should play Hollow Knight. I have. It's on my wish list. Uh, yes. I don't quite follow you, but I'm sure it was amusing. Oh, Huff, I am still I'm still playing Fantasy Star Online 2. I got stuck. I got stuck. I'm like level 65, a level 65 hunter with a subclass fighter. And uh, yeah, I just cannot get past like the last two bosses in episode six. So I've been mucking around and trying out other different classes. It seems like uh, the ranger or the gunner would be the, I think, the easiest for like cheesing bosses since they're all ranged attacks. You can kind of just run around and uh, ping them to death. But I don't know. I don't know. Uh, well, I don't okay, have anything. You, for the diamond. you will have to pay to enter the game. So I need to do something How with this doll. Not very much. Yeah, I don't, I don't have any money. No money. Okay. You can't play. Okay. So I need to. So I have this doll. He's so cute. Aren't you the cutest little thing? You love the hero. So the problem with the hero and and the phantom and whatever the third class is is uh, I need to be level seventy five and I <laughs> I just never got there. Ooh, smuggle bunny. Can I steal any of this? Let me. Yeah, there are plenty of people who could give them better homes than I ever could. Can I take a smuggle bunny? It's not that adorable. No. Is there anything else here I can take before I go? Oh, treasure chest. Hands off. I 
I was just looking. Uh, let's talk to Cruff. Will he say anything? Deadly sword, barrel of treasure. He's not much of a talker. Uh, there's probably nothing I can. Smuggling by candlelight. Very romantic. Yeah, there's probably nothing I can take here. It's all just. Cool. I may actually get to use a real weapon. I don't have any pictures nice enough for a frame like that. Hands off. No. I was just looking. Uh. Expensive thing. Yeah, I need to find treasure. I need to find treasure. It's too adorable. I don't want to lose my dark piratey edge. Yeah, I think eventually I'll get to level 75 and unlock the other uh, advanced classes. But for now, I'm kind of just messing around with ranged uh, range classes. The summoner, I have no idea what to do with. It's like a chessboard for your pet. I'll have to look it up. All right, where are we? Cliff side. Uh, what if we talk to... Can I get up there and talk to the winch operator? It looks like a duck. <laughs> Summoner is fun, but man, that snack box stuff in the paint. Yeah, it looked very complicated. Let's talk to this guy, see if he has anything new. Yes. Mr. Lafoot. No. Never mind. Skull Island, yes. But I don't have any treasure, so I can't play poker for the diamond. Uh what does head be clear head do? Be clear for clearing foggy heads. Maybe I need to find a recipe to give the guy hair? Shaving soap, no. Maybe I can melt the gold tooth into gold coins and use it on the wooden nickels to make fake money? Am I overthinking this? Probably. <laughs> oh, I didn't mean to do that. All right, let's go back to go back to Blood Island. Excuse me. I'd like to go back to Blood Island. Me too. This place gives me the creeps. Yeah, I think if we melt down the gold tooth That'll be our, our money, maybe. All right, let's, uh, let's, <laughs> I just love that he's like eating a sandwich. Let's look at our notes again, right? Okay, so we did the windmill. We did the lighthouse. Um, this we have not, we got the firefly. So we still have the bar. There's a fork, a pickle jar, and a locked door upstairs. Then the graveyard, I still have not figured out. And then Blood Island, or Skull Island. Skull Island. Need money to play poker to get diamond. So I think we have to get the diamond first before we can do the graveyard. So I think we can ignore that. Yeah. And then we have a, a doll, a LeChuck doll. Maybe we can use that to scare somebody? Maybe. Uh, let's talk. Anything new? No. Okay. Um, yeah, maybe we can melt, melt this. Let's see. Can we melt it in here, maybe? Probably not. It's probably not hot enough. Well, that doesn't need a gold tooth. Uh, what if we go up to the hotel? Put it in a pan? No? I don't know. Okay, okay, okay. Maybe if I just talk to everybody, maybe somebody will have money for me. Well, that doesn't need a gold tooth. No. Can I put the pan That's on there? Pan won't do any good there? No. Okay. So that's probably not the not the solution. I can't paste that. 
That doesn't take wooden nickels. How do I get money? How do I get money? Um. I can't use the mallet with that. Maybe the. Well, I haven't done. No, well, I have done something with the vegetarian cannibals. I dropped the cheese in there, which gave it an upset stomach, which caused the lava to flow. I still have not used the auger. Or the nail. Or the head be clear for foggy head. Gotta be inside. Is there anything else in here that I can mess with? No. No. Hold on. Griswold good to present high explosive. No, no, no. Okay. Um let's talk to this guy. Let's talk to him. Uh how's business? No. How's business? Oh, it's just wonderful. Now that the volcano is erupting again, the reservations are just pouring in. So what about the guest room? How'd one get into your tomb? The ring story. I'm off to explore the rustic charms of Blood Island. What are the pickles? What's the pickle jar used for? I don't, I don't get it. No, that would be pointless. What would I use the doll for? And this door is locked. Right? It's locked. Nobody's answering. It's one of the guest rooms. It's nailed to the wall. Can I unnail it? I can't use the mallet with that. I can't jimmy the door lock with that. I can't jimmy the door. I feel like I need the actual. I can't jimmy the door lock with that. All right, my boy, got to bail to sleep. Good luck on Skull Island. All right, Huff, thank you for the raid. I'll catch you later. Why is the window open? I don't. It looks out onto the cemetery. Nah, I'd rather leave it open. There's a peculiar odor in this hall. There's a peculiar odor. Maybe that's the hint for something? What do I have? I need money. How do I get money? How do I get money? Um... Uh, It's a bunch of old portraits of the Van Salad family. Nah. I don't have any use for portraits of the Van Salad family. Yeah, there's nothing in here. Yep. There's nothing in here. So this is... Yeah, just old portraits. It sounds like a ghost spirit. I'm guessing I need to use this head be clear on the ghost once I get in. But how do I... How do I get in? Can I use a daybed? No time for that now. I've got a fiancé to rescue. Nah. Comfy. Let's talk to the guy again? Maybe it's gotta be something to do with the nachos, right? The ring, no. By dying. Tell me that whole ring story again. My dead great aunt's fiance stole the diamond and sold it to smugglers on Skull Island. She wore the engagement band until the day she died, and she remains buried in the Goodsu family crypt, dead of a broken heart. All right, so I need to do something with this doll. Maybe I can scare the the crypt keeper. I'm off to explore the rustic charms of Blood Island. Let's try using the doll on him. No, that would be pointless. I know the tarot cards are going to be used to cheat. Once I can actually play poker. No, that would be pointless. Can I just use it? I want to be your friend. No. My name's the Chucky. 
Let's build a sand castle. <laughs> I'll tear off your head and spit bile down your throat. He always gets so mean at the very end. Okay, that did not work. Um. Ah, oh, how do I get the fork? Not that I even know what to do with the fork. That's not money. I need money. Let's look at it. I just want to see what it is. What's the gold fork? That fork is stuck in all that congealed cheese. No. And she doesn't care about us. Madam Zima, I be gone. No. What if I go and talk to my crew, actually? Let's do that. Does he have anything new? He's busy repairing the ship now. Uh, sticky tar substitute. Yep, that would be the cheese. I don't see anything else. Yeah, I think we're good. Um, 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 mm, 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 there's nothing yeah, here. It's rubber trees. Back to the village, maybe? Maybe we can talk to the, uh, the cannibals. I don't see anything made of gold here. Can I go without the mask? Too dangerous. Oh, nope. I guess not. Can I wear this again? Ick. I'm not, I'm not going back up there. It's too dangerous. Maybe it's on Skull Island. Maybe I need to find money there. That doesn't look hungover at all. That doesn't need to be lathered up. Um... Hmm. It's a skeleton arm with paste all over it. It's a bag of wooden nickels. It's the map to Blood Island, peeled off Palado's back. The magic wand has no effect on that. The magic wand has no effect on that. It's a big whoop souvenir magnet. I can't use the magnet. I can't use the magnet with that. Shaving soap, foggy head, and an auger. Uh, okay. Well, so we don't need to do anything here. So it's literally the hotel. It's the only place. The hotel and the cemetery. Oh yeah, let's try to scare uh, the crypt keeper. Throw the chuck through the crack, and maybe it'll scare him enough that he'll run. No, that would be pointless. What's a guy gotta do to get into one of these crypts? Drop dead. What's a guy gotta do no. to get into one of these crypts? Drop dead. It's locked tight. I can't open I can't it. Use the mallet with that. Yeah, I don't think we can open any door without a key. As far as I can tell. Can I use a workbench? It's a Blackbeard's deckmaker workbench. What can I do with that? That doesn't need to be augured. That doesn't need to be augured. I hope the owner of this shack doesn't sleep in that. Nope, that's not the right way. Oh, there's lilies. Did I pick that up? What are those for? Mm, no. No, okay. Lilies. How cliche. <sighs> there's a skeletal hook. Oh, it's just attached to an arm. I don't think I need to do anything here. Um, 
I might be stuck. It's beginning to spell a word. I've got nothing to say. No, that would be pointless. No, that would be pointless. Throw it through the window, maybe to scare him? No, that would be pointless. I just use it here. Let's bury some treasure. You're the best shipmate ever. Land ho, sailor. Hmm. I'll keel haul your mother. <sighs> da -da -da. Man, so there's a window and a chimney. Can I throw it through the chimney? No, that would be pointless. No. It's a pile of new tombstones. And we can't chisel them, right? That's not my. I can't use the mallet with that. And what is the nail used for? It's a heavy-duty picture-hanging nail. A picture-hanging nail. Ooh, man. I do not know. I do have one balloon no, left. That would be pointless. What am I supposed to use the balloon on? It's a helium-filled balloon. It's a rather spitty gold tooth. That doesn't need a gold tooth. That doesn't need a gold tooth. I feel like I already have... No. If I had money, it would be an option. Can I open this dude up and get something out of him? That. that doesn't look hungover at all. Um... Yeah, I don't think he'd like... Shaving soap. I don't think he'd like that. All right, so we have uncarved tombstones, a carved tombstone, a dog bowl, recycling bin, which has a bunch of useless tools, right? It's a scrap metal recycling bin. And I can't grab the hook. Mm, no. I can't. Well, that doesn't need a gold tooth. Ah, uh, maybe there's something in the graveyard itself. I don't think so, though. I can't use the chisel with that. I can't use the mallet with. No. Um. Yeah, I don't know. We might be stuck. It's locked. I can't use the chisel with. I can't use the mallet with that. Um. I can't use the nail with that. Is there anything else in here? A plaque? It says Tex Venture. Uh... <sighs> what do we need? What do we need? What do we need? What are we missing? There's nothing in the windmill, right? Yeah, it's just sugar water. Can't be a recipe, would it? No way. Um, to make gold or something ridiculous. Rum surprise, no. Yellow beard's baby, no. Bloody stump, no. Blue whale. Lemon tonic, bloated tick, swamp zombie, and then a hangover cure. Oh, appendix P cirrhosis, know the signs. Top secret biscuit recipe, cilantro with biscuits. Courtesy of a friend's friend's aunt who was charged 500 pieces of eight for a complimentary, complimentary copy of the recipe and it's distributed it for free and retaliation. 
Could I trade him the recipe book? Um, yeah, so really the cemetery and the hotel is the only places we should go. Village don't need, windmill don't need, lighthouse. The clearing, not yet until we get the ring. Wait, yeah. She'd made out of gold. Could I like chisel some gold off of her and have her still be okay? No. I don't think she'd like that. Give her a gold tooth. My pirate instincts tell me I. No. It's got to be on that island. Shipwreck we don't need. So it's just beach. Yeah, let's uh. Let's go. Can we push him? Let's see what happens when we push him. Or that just like auto travel. Nope. Okay. I'd like a ride out to Skull Island, please. Oops. All right, let's go. Uh, is there anything else here? I don't think so. Cliff top, cliff side. What's the difference? Oh, cliff side is just looking. I still say it looks like a duck. Maybe let's let us fall and see uh, if not using the umbrella like takes us somewhere new. Yeah, let's go to the cliff top. There's nothing else here. Do we see anything? Nope, oh, shit. It's the foot. Can I give him this tooth in exchange for money? Tell me I should keep this to myself. Yes. Uh, let's, let's try, try that lowering me down the cliff thing again. Yeah, let's right. not use the umbrella. I, I think I'm getting better at this. Please be careful this time. No problem. There's got to be a reason why he let we we, the game lets us visit him multiple times. I got it. I got it. I don't got it. Let's see if, like, maybe we end up seeing something. <laughs> this is new? No. Okay, that didn't help. But it didn't kill us. I think we can just... Oh. So we have to use it every time. I still see. All right, so I gotta climb down there without falling. So I gotta use the umbrella every time. Yet? I thought I'll be able to just quick travel. You think you'll be able to lower me down this time? All right. <laughs> I, I think I'm getting better at this. Here we go. Gotta be something in there that I can steal. Whoops. Gotta be something in here I can steal. Gotta be something here I can steal. Like maybe I can use the LeChuck doll and the LeChuck doll will steal something? Or I can just offer. I could try giving them different items. Let's try that. Oh, you're gonna walk all around. I have no idea what that is, but it sure looks expensive. Let's try it. Recipe book. Maybe that's worth money. My pirate instincts tell me I should keep this to myself. Man, we need to kick his butt when we get back up there. Oh, can we actually? Can we actually kick him? Is that a thing? I did not try to uh, manhandle him. You don't know. My pirate instincts tell me I should keep wooden nickels. I don't think he'd like that. No. What would he like? A balloon? An encyclopedia? I don't think he'd like tarot cards? I don't want to give away my ace in the hole. Yeah. Uh, a magic wand. I don't think he'd like that. Yeah, I don't think I. 
It's been a long time since you completed this. Yeah, I don't shaving soap. Yeah, I don't think he'd like that. Or hair. Yeah, I don't think he'd like that. What else do I have that he wants? I don't think I have anything. Oh, wait a minute. Keep that door closed. Sorry. Oh. I just wanted to make sure Mr. Threepwood made it down all right. Oh, okay. All right. I did play this last Saturday on GOG, but that was just one stream. So I guess if we keep the door open, it'll blow out the candles and then we can grab treasure or the diamond. I think this is actually the first puzzle in this game that's time based, right? Like if you sit around long enough, he'll kind of give you the hint. I don't think that's ever happened in this game. So let's, uh, how do I open this door? I'm going to lunch if anybody needs me. Shut that door, there's a draft. All right, we need to blow up the candles somehow. I don't know. I can't use the umbrella. Uh, what can we do? What can we do? What can we do? But it won't let me use the door. Pick up a foot. I don't want to have to carry him around everywhere. Yet. Or. Or maybe that's like uh maybe it's it's not actually a hint. It has to be though. Just try lowering me one more time. All right. I, I think I'm getting better at this. Here we go. Whoops. It has to be the draft. It's the only thing that makes sense. What time is it? Uh, we got a few more minutes left. Yeah, I can't do anything with the door. Can I blow on the shant? No, no. Uh, yeah, I don't have anything that would work. A helium balloon. <laughs> I can't use a balloon with that. There a rope or something I could cut? No. Smuggle bunny. He has to be in a very specific spot to look at things. Does anyone know a good Thai restaurant in the area? <laughs> Don't open that door. You blow out the candles. Or maybe I just need to wait. That would be silly if I needed to just wait. Or maybe while it's flickering, I can grab something. Let's see. Is it like a cutscene whenever he comes out? Yeah, there has to be a reason why he shows up. That has to be the hint. Or maybe I need to leave when he comes back to the door. I don't know. Oh. Yeah, it's a cutscene. Oh, uh, sorry. I was just looking for the time card. No. Okay, so I can't. It's not timing based. Why is there a golden frame here? It's a solid gold picture frame. What can I use here? Yeah, there's not there's nothing here. Smuggling by candlelight. Very romantic. Oh, um, I don't know, I don't know. Name of that story about those guys who try to blow up that bridge? Go away! You're going to blow out the candles. <laughs> the 
They're stacked like adorable fluffy cordwood. Eerie. Nah. There are so many of them it ruins their chances of becoming collectible items. Huh. They won't let me grab any of this. Does anyone have 20 pieces of eight I can borrow for the vending machine? Beat it! Hands off! I was just looking. What if I just use my... I have a skeleton arm with paste on I can't it. use the skeleton arm with that. I can't use the skeleton. I can't use this. I can't use the skeleton. I can't use the skeleton arm with that. I can't use the skeleton. I can't use the skeleton arm with that. I can't use the skeleton arm with that. It's sticky, so it should work. Either that or it's just something at the uh, the graveyard with the gra uh, with the crypt keeper. Yeah, I don't know if I'm supposed to come here first or do the the crypt keeper thing first. There's just. Where's this door at? Can I do something with the door? Yeah, I don't even see where the door is at. It doesn't show. Cliff side. Cliff side. Yeah, there's there's like no door. Cliff side and cliff top. That's it. Ah. What am I missing? Can I cut the the rope. No. I don't want to cut that. It's a hand cranked elevator. I can't use it myself. Someone has to lower me down. Does he have anything new to say? Yeah. Never mind. Let me try giving him the doll. Maybe he wants the doll. Maybe it's as simple as that. No, that would be pointless. Uh, let me just use it. Ahoy there, matey. Nope, I don't do anything. Set sail for fun. You're my favorite sailor. All right, say something mean. I'll rip out your lungs, you swab. <laughs> yeah, there's cliff face. All right, one final look, and I think we'll, I think we'll wrap it up here. Zombie pirate to a brochure umbrella. Head be clear. Head be clear for clearing foggy heads. For clearing foggy heads. Maybe on the flying Welshman cushion. It's a soft cushion. Can I open it. It feels soft. Tofu mask. Portrait, nail, and auger. Is this made it's out a of any? Whoop souvenir magnet. Unless he wants that, which I don't think he will. All right. Two things. Let's try. Um, uh, what was the other? What was the other idea I had? Giving the big what, magnet, maybe. Yet. That's collateral. Just try lowering me one more time. All right. I, I think I'm getting better at this. But I don't no. think that counts. I think it's just used to magnetize things. Probably not. Probably not. Yeah, I don't think he'd like that. I can't use the magnet with that. Yeah, I think that's it. We're kind of stuck. I was thinking the gold tooth would be the answer. Somehow melting it down to make gold so we could play this damn game, but I just don't know. I just don't know. All right. It is, uh, it's a little past seven. So I think we'll go ahead and stop for now. We are tapped out mentally. But we're getting close. We're getting close. Get the diamond. Get into the crypt. Get the ring band. Magnetize. Uh, I was thinking we could magnetize something like maybe the deadly sword. But I like... I can't use the magnet with that. I think it has something to do with the door. Get this. Out. Don't blow out the candles. That feels like the... An, uh, 
I don't know, I feel like that's the obvious hint about what the solution is. We need to blow out the candles and then do something. Either steal treasure or take the diamond. I don't know. Yeah. <sighs> well, we made progress. We didn't get stuck. We got the majority of things done for part four. We're just like, ah, we're almost there. We're almost there. Maybe a couple of days of quiet reflection will help. I was still thinking about the compass we could make right now. Oh, well, we, we already uh, made the compass, right? For the uh, Flying Dutchman. Oh, the only thing, actually, that was the other solution I was thinking of. The foggy be clear on uh, on the Flying Dutchman. And maybe that would do something since he's like ghostly. So we'll see. All right, guys. Thanks for hanging out. Uh, we'll be back on next Monday. I'll see if any, any of our friends are streaming. See you, Rex. Uh, Camellio's on. Let's raid Camellio. He's playing the System Shock remake. All right, everyone. Have a good weekend.